of all, uh, talk about this moment. I, I know that you have wanted to be a head coach for a long time. Not only you get this opportunity, but you get it here close to home at ETSU. Uh, couldn't be happier. Couldn't be more excited. Uh, you know, you, you get to your point, get to points in your career, and you're not sure these things are ha will happen. You know, there's definitely a limited number of these jobs, and to get one at this caliber, um, at the place that they're at right now, and we're at, it's, it's fun to say. And uh, like I said, this is a, a dream come true. You know, like I said, I would love to coach here for a long time. When do you start putting the staff together? Well, that's a great question. You know, I talked with the staff today via Zoom, um, you know, and I'm going to reach out to them individually. You know, there will be some, I'm sure, that will stay, I know, and there'll be some that, that won't, but uh, none of that has been decided yet. Do you plan on just kind of getting through Christmas and then starting? I hope so. You know, the timing's not great for everybody, and uh, I want to spend time at Christmas. Yeah. I know they do too, and uh, but I'm sure a lot of them want to, you know, they want to know what their future holds as well, and I want to be, uh, you, know, you know, sensitive to that as well. What's been most attractive about this job? You know, lots of things. Uh, one, uh, Scott Carter, to be honest with you, I think he's a, an AD that has a tremendous amount of passion that is willing to, to go the extra mile. And, um, you know, I think the facilities are good. I think the area is good. I think they've got great players. The support is great. Um, I, you know, tell me what they don't have. You know, it's, uh, it's one of those things I don't think uh, – you know, there's anything wrong with it. I think you can go a long way at this place. What, what do you have to do to keep the ball rolling here after the season they just had? Sure, that's tough. Uh, you know, certainly they had a great year, and uh, you know, but it's always about getting better. Uh, it's always about players. You know, we got to recruit well. We got to find some, you know, some more players. Uh, however that is, I know the transfer portal has changed things a little bit now. Um, you know, we certainly want to recruit high school guys and. That needs to be the life of the program, but at the same time, when they're available and you have a need, you gotta you gotta be able to take them. Your familiarity with East Tennessee and the Southern Conference, how much of an advantage do you feel like that gives you when it comes to recruiting and keeping local talent here? You know, um, I hope a lot. Yeah, uh, you know, you know, I've never recruited until 2017, and um, you know, I did recognize that. You know, when I went into places, you know, it was easy to get to the coach, and uh, they always wanted to talk. The players were always receptive. Um, so, you know, we were able to recruit, recruit pretty well in Tennessee, especially East Tennessee. And uh, I'm hoping the same thing happens here. Um, you know, recruiting's about relationships and, you know, getting to talk to kids and their pop moms and dads and, you know, just building that trust. And, uh, you know, like I said, that's, that's the key, and that's the, the lifeblood of your programs, recruiting. The first time we saw you up at the podium, you got kind of emotional just because you're coming back so close to home. How does it feel to be this close? And, you know, you said you're kind of coming back home. Well, you know, we've uh, kind of made a full circle in some ways. You know, we were in Maryville. We drove down uh, I-40 uh, to South Carolina, and then we've come back up 26 uh, to Johnson City. You know, so we're super excited, and uh, it it's an emotional thing because you, you're leaving a good place and uh, had a lot of great relationships there. Uh, can't thank Coach Hendricks enough for giving me an opportunity to start my college career. Um, and when you leave a place that matters to you, you know, it is an emotional thing. And, um, you know, so I'm glad it bothered me a little bit. It was not an easy decision to leave, but it was a very easy decision to come to. You're leaving a good place, and it's a good place that you're going to get to play against every season. Yeah, as that'll a, be a, the, you know, when I talked to our players last night, the ones I'd recruited or coached, you know, and I gave them the, oh, I'm for you, 10 games, you know, that one, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to be for you. Of course, they gave me the same thing, and, you know, and, uh, you know, that's always been a huge game, ETSU and Furman, from when I was a player, even when we were really good back in the 80s. Uh, Coming here was tough, and uh, you know, and I don't think much has changed. Um, we had a, a great game here in '18, and you know, really got them rolling. They came back from 21 down, I think, and beat us. And um, like I said, I just think there's too many things in place here to not be or not have a chance to be successful. Coach, you've been an assistant coach. You've been very successful as a head coach on the high school level. How much does it drive you now to show you can be a successful coach on the college level? That's a great question, and I think that's something that is a driving force. You know, uh, fear of failure is a great motivator for me. And, uh, 
you know, if it doesn't work, it's not going to be because I'm not trying or not working at it like crazy. Um, you know, and I'll, I'm not afraid to ask questions. I'm not afraid to ask for help. Um, I want coaches that will coach. Uh, I don't want to be in charge of everything. Um, like I said, I want to get the best possible people we can get in here. If they're here, that's who I want. Uh, but like I said, I just think that uh, everybody's got to have a drive and a, a motivating factor. And I think for me, it's a lot of times fear of failure. 